A lot can change in 10 years. That's how long it's been since Hurricane Katrina, one of the deadliest and the most expensive hurricane to ever hit the United States. Now, here are seven big changes since August 29th, 2005, when Hurricane Katrina made landfall. Population has bounced back, mostly. Before Katrina, the New Orleans metro area was nearly 1.4 million. After, only a little more than a million, mostly because people who evacuated never returned. And now, the population is up to one and a quarter million. Since 2008, the National Hurricane Center has been able to issue more accurate seasonal outlooks to better prepare everyone for the upcoming season. Better forecast models with reduced errors, better hurricane intensity forecasting, and better track forecasting. The average 48-hour track error in 2005, 110 nautical miles. In 2015, 65 nautical miles. In other words, today's three-day forecasts are as accurate as two-day forecasts in 2005. Now we use drones to inspect hurricanes. The Coyote unmanned aircraft system flies in the lower part of a hurricane where it's too dangerous for the Hurricane Hunter aircraft to go. It measures air pressure, temperature, moisture, sea surface temperatures, and wind speed inside the storm. These observations should help reveal how a hurricane pulls energy from the ocean and improve predictions of intensity. In 2010, National Hurricane Center forecasts have been extended from three to five days. Watches and warnings are issued 12 hours sooner to 48 hours ahead of time for a watch, 36 hours in advance for a warning. Tropical weather outlooks have been extended from two to five days. Beginning in 2015, storm surge watches and warnings are now getting issued in coastal communities. These provide a forecast to how high waves are going to be crashing onto the shore. Storm surge kills more people than any other aspect of hurricanes. In 2005, satellites were able to provide one image every five minutes. Next year, a new generation of satellites will launch providing one image every 30 seconds during a major storm. Katrina is the big storm that everyone remembers, but 2005 was the most active hurricane season on record with 27 named storms. It was the first time the National Hurricane Center ever had to use the letters V and W to name storms and then move on to the Greek alphabet when those names ran out. 2005 is also the last time a major hurricane, a category three, four, or five, made US landfall. That was when Wilma struck Florida. Thankfully, the last 10 years have been relatively quiet by comparison, with a few exceptions here and there. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to leave your comments below, like the video, and subscribe to our channel.